Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So I've been making AJMVs and here's my latest AJMV. And one of you guys asked for how I made this part of this animal. So I'll show you and it's really easy on and I'm using Camtasia for it as you can see. And it's the full version. If you don't have it, you could you could get it for free. Just go back and look at some look at my video where I say how you can get Camtasia for free. So okay, let's continue on now. Show you how I made that. First of all, after you import media, I used this one right over where did it go? Right here. So then you import it. And I do not need this background sound. This was really long, so I just made it as short as I needed it to be. And you can make them bigger. Yeah. So then I made it bigger, and then I need to go to Visual Properties. And then you remove a color. You click here, select color, click that takes away the background but if you still have some of this stuff around the edges and you can make it bigger just to make it more clear to see you could do tolerance just a little bit of that and then a little bit of the softness or maybe if you don't want to you don't have to hue will just change the color of that and then there is deep fringe but I don't need any of that Okay, so there is one. So what I did first of all is Control C for copy, and then I did Control V up above for paste. So right now, this other one, since let's see, I will show you something. Since this is like that, since this one's on the bottom, this will be in the background. This one right here is the one that's in the background. This one that's smaller and on top is the one that's above which will be above in this picture as well. It's, it's layered one on top of another. So basically what I did was have this background picture first. So I deal with the background picture, so I just move this one aside and deal with this background picture first. And I just make it as big as I can or as big as I want to. So I'm not sure how big I really made it on that one. But then after that, I just put this one in and then I put it however I thought felt right. So anyways, you can line it up so it looks same. You can put it down to the side, however you want to put it. And then you kind of get this image right there. So, but then to make it a little bit, because if you see in my previous one back here, it looks kind of shadowed out, right? And it looks lighter like a shadow. Basically to do that, you take this background picture, which is a bigger one, and then you come up here, and then you do opacity to make it a bit shadowy. Like, I think I might have gone to, um, how much did I go here? I used opacity of 42%. It just all depends. Oh, I'm already at opacity of 42%. So yeah, that will basically, that's all you need for the effect. And that's how you'd make the effect. If you want, you could always just like, add a sort of background if you think black does not work well. So yeah. Ta-da! Here's your final product. So thanks for watching you guys. Bye! Kitty Angel out. Peace.